Hey everybody, it's Chainsaw Reacts and guys, we are back to Halo 5 and this time I'm going to be reacting to the Halo 5 E3 campaign demo. I'm so excited to watch this stuff. We actually get to see some campaign from Halo 5. I can't wait. Let's not waste any time. Let's jump into Halo 5 E3 campaign demo. Oh boy. Just another target, you know. Every target is just another target, Buck. 0631 this morning. Master Chief was declared absent without me. Damn. I'm a Spartan now, sir. I know who you are. Yeah. Yet now you hunt another spot. The greatest of your clan. Every other Spartan, every soldier, when they hear about this, they're gonna hate us. You know that, right? The... You're not the only one here because of him. So now I hope the covenants find the stronghold. That is where you'll find the Master Chief and the Guardian of these suits. The Master Chief. Okay, here we go. Let's move. Fail to keep an ear on call. Affirmative. But they're not in defensive positions. It looks so, so good. <laughs> okay. Oh. Lock, are you sure the chief came this way? Let's see. Activating the artifice. Gotta read it. Fail. Do you see this too? Let me take a look. Mm -hmm. Did the Master Chief's been through here? Which means he has a head start on the Guardian. Let's get moving. Yep. <laughs> I regret everything. <laughs> I regret everything. That Looks was like running the Covenant out of town. He's been fighting for this moment a long time, Bale. The Covenant's finally breaking. Mmm. Okay. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, the thing was huge. Jesus. Is that a guardian? Jesus, this is so good. <laughs> uh oh. You can't die. Campaign's not over yet, buddy. Just a demo D3, son. You can't die yet. This is so fucking good. This is so good. Yeah, safe and sound inside a crumbling building. Better than the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, Aquaman's there. What the fuck is that? Ooh. Incoming. Yep. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. That's pretty cool. Okay. That's pretty cool. You control your team essentially. Take out that guy. Kill that person. Stop being a douchebag. Probably not that one. Oh. Wow, this looks good. He's up there. Head up with me. We'll get that some bitch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, new weapon, I'm assuming. Yeah. Ooh. Aw, oh, sweet. That was cool. Is he going to see the Master Chief for this thing's over? 
I wonder. There he is! Or something. Maybe. Just shoot him with a shotgun. Be a man. When you're a man. Oh! Oh shit. Oh. The master chief is called. But you, your passage is denied. Ooh. Oh. Oh. What would the hell is that? Jesus. Oh, my God. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> There we have it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. So we saw Guardians. Big, big guys. Saw a new weapon. And I like the fact that this focus on Agent Lock, not as much as Master Chief. We got to see the Arbor, which was awesome. Master Chief, we saw a little bit of him. But I think that in order, this game is going to sell. No matter what, people will buy this game. But the twist is you get to play some of the campaign missions as Agent Locke. Now, I'm not sure if it's been confirmed, but I think that it's, at this point, it's back and forth between you play some missions as Agent Locke and some missions of Master Chief. I don't believe there's a separate campaign just entirely of Chief, and, and there's a separate campaign entirely of Agent Locke. But I was thinking maybe that'd be cool, but I think it's back and forth you basically do throughout the campaign. And I like the fact that this focus on Agent Locke because we all know how awesome Master Chief is. We, we already know he's going to be bad ass in this game because it looks beautiful and he was barely in the trailer. So we know it's going to be awesome. So it's going to looks like it's going to be cool to play as Agent Locke. I'm really curious about how this story is going to develop and it looks so good. I like the new enemy, the new Promethean enemy besides the Guardians, the big guys. The, the new Promethean enemy was kind of cool. Um, and... Like I've been, like I said throughout the thing, and I'm saying once more, repeating, beautiful. This game looks so damn good. And I know people didn't really like Halo 4 that much for some of the story stuff they did and all that kind of stuff. I get it, but it looked beautiful. The graphics to me were top notch. This beats it out of the water. This looks so much better. The colors stand out more. The textures, the enemies, the weapons, everything looks just so much better in this game. They're really taking full force and using the best that they can do for right now for Halo 5. So Halo 6 beats this out of the water. So it looks amazing. Oh, honestly, I, I hope they release more uh, trailers and more footage for Halo 5 campaign or maybe some more multiplayer stuff. But, you know, I love it. It looks so damn good. I just can't wait to play this damn game. Cannot wait. It comes out five days after my birthday. So get here already. What do you guys think of the Halo 5 E3 campaign demo? Did you love it like I did? Do you love it? Do you love it like I did? Because I did. Let me know in the comment section below your thoughts about this campaign demo. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.